beauties and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a lip swatch. Lime Crime sent me some really beautiful lip gloss lip toppers and these are called the Diamond Crushers. This is what they look like. And as you can see, they're so gorgeous. They're really, really glittery. And when I first received them, I thought they were glosses. I didn't really know too much about them, but they're actually lip toppers and they have a really unique formula. I've actually never really tried anything like this before. They also sent me a couple liquid lipsticks as well, but I'm gonna try them for you with and without just to show you that you could probably wear them by themselves. When I got this in the mail, I was just in shock by how beautiful the packaging is. They have really unique colors. They're almost like iridescent and holographic looking. All right, so if you guys would like to see these lip swatches from Lime Crime of their Diamond Crushers and Velveteens, then please keep watching. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read you guys the benefits of the product and what it's supposed to do. So what it says on the website is that you could wear this over a matte liquid lipstick or by itself. It also says you could swipe it on your lips, cheeks, or anywhere really to get a really diamond crushed look. And it says that it smells like strawberries and it really does. One of the initial reactions I had when actually opening up the tube was that it smells fantastic. Really sweet. It smells so good. If you guys have tried like the Smackers lip gloss, I used to wear that in middle school. It has strawberries on it. I think it smells the exact same and it's just the best. It says that it won't run, feel gritty or drying or ruin your liquid matte lipstick. It pretty much says you can apply this into your brows as a lipstick by itself, put a gloss over it, you could wear it on your cheeks, you could wear it as a highlight. I'm sure you could put this on your eyes and wear it kind of like as a sparkly lid shadow. It also says on the website that these are cruelty free and vegan. These are 0.14 fluid ounces and they expire in 12 months. So you could use these for a year. All right, so we're just gonna jump into the swatches. I'm gonna pair these up with some velveteens as well as wear them by themselves and show you guys how that looks. So the first shade I'm gonna try is called Cheap Thrill. It's described on the website as a sunset rose shift. I'm gonna gonna pair this one up with L and this is a really pretty nude. I love this color. This is the prettiest nude. I love wearing shades like this like on a daily basis. So I'm gonna go over the top with Cheap Thrill. I'm gonna go ahead and dip my brush in one more time. You do need like two dips with these. That color is so pretty. This is such a beautiful color. I wanna to describe to you guys how these feel when you apply them over the lipstick. This feels almost like a stain. That's the best way I can describe it. It feels like nothing is there except your lipstick. And when you don't have lipstick on, it just feels like you're applying a stain to your lips. It doesn't feel like anything. It's the lightest formula. It's not something that's gonna come off easily like a gloss would. Now I'm gonna show you guys what Cheap Thrill looks like by itself. So this next shade is called Fluke and this is described as a chill mauve and it looks like it reflects almost like a bit of blue. It's very pretty. And I'm gonna pair this up with Prairie because Prairie is a little bit more pink and it just looks like it would look really nice with this one. All right, so this one is definitely on the more frosty side. It's very pretty. I like that it has like almost like a purpley blue undertone to it. It's definitely very unique and I think it looks really nice with Prairie. I'm gonna see how it looks by itself, but I actually really do like it. So now I'm gonna apply the Velveteen in Gigi, and this is a taupe mob. It's really pretty. I love this by itself, but now I'm gonna go over the top with Lit, and Lit is a really beautiful rose gold. It literally looks like I dabbed glitter onto my lips and I actually think it's really cool. It looks so much more gold on your lips than it does in the tube. This looks kind of pink to me, but on the lips, it's very much so gold. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try a lit by itself. It's like a whole different color by itself. It's like a really beautiful rose gold just alone by itself. It's like I put like glitter on my lips. It's so sparkly and I don't feel anything. Like I've said before, it's kind of like nothing's there. So I'm next gonna try on the Velveteen in Lulu and this is described as a peachy beige. And I'm a really big fan of the Velveteens. I really, really like them. They have a really good formula and they don't feel really drying on your lips. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply Dope. So I notice if you smack your lips together and just go it really spreads out the product really evenly without you having to dip in twice and it gives it a more like subtle look which I really like. Love this color. I mean, I'm not just saying this you guys. 
I really, really, really like these. I think they're just so unique and different and I just, I love that. There's a lot of things that are very similar in the beauty industry when it comes to lipstick. This is something that I really don't own that I don't have anything like it and I just, I love that. It's so refreshing to me to see something so different. And this color is really pretty, so I'm gonna try it on by itself now. So now we're gonna get more into like the funky colors. So we have Strip and Sasha. Sasha is like a toasted rose, and this is described as a stripper pink. So I think this is a really beautiful color. I love pink, obviously. I'm so excited to try it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Sasha first, and this is just a really pretty toasted mauve color. It's almost like, it's like a darker nude for an everyday look. I just, I love colors like this. I think every liquid lipstick I've tried so far has really been a very pretty nude that you could wear almost every day with any look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try on Strip. This has to be probably one of my favorite combinations of all the colors, just because I feel like this is really wearable. Really love it. So I'm gonna try Strip On by itself now and show you guys what it looks like alone. This is one of my favorites. I really love this color and I do because it's a really pretty pink. It's very sparkly, but it's not over the top sparkly. It's definitely something that's eye catching, but it's not like, whoa, what is that? But you guys can probably tell the difference between this one and the lighter shades. It's a little bit less dramatic, but it's still very pretty. And I feel like this would look really nice in the summertime. So now I'm gonna pop on the Velveteen in Fetish. And this is described as a deep plum. It's a very beautiful, deep purple color. And this is a very deep shade compared to the ones I've tried on so far. This is probably the deepest out of all of them. So even though it's not fall and we're like approaching spring, I still love colors like this and they are probably my favorite to wear. I just love, love vampy colors. They're just so fun. So now we're gonna go in with the Diamond Crusher in Trip and this is described as a delirium purple. This is probably the most unique shade out of the bunch and it's very pretty. It's like a purple with a reflect of like a light blue. It's kind of like holographic in a way. And I'm really curious how this will look over this shade. So we'll see. Wow. This is so cool. Wow, this one is so unique. I love it, it's very different. It's kind of like a beetle look to it. It's like the most iridescent looking color ever. Like when I applied it over this lipstick, it kind of was like, wow, like that's so out there and different. I know this color wouldn't be for everybody, but I personally think it's really cool and I like it. I'm curious to try it by itself because I noticed that these look really different by themselves versus on top of a lipstick. This is a lot more intense than it probably is by itself, so we'll see. But I actually really, really like it and I think it's, it's very unique. So for this last and final swatch, I'm gonna go in with the Velveteen in Prairie. There was a couple other shades that I was sent, but I really do feel like the topper would look really nice over this color. So I'm gonna go in with this. And Prairie is one of my favorites. I just, I love this color. So now I'm gonna go over this with Choke and this is described as a cloud pink blue. Okay, I really love this. This is definitely like a very frosty pink color. It has those blue reflex in it and I really like it. I definitely don't feel a difference in this formula. I feel like it's very consistent throughout everything I tried. And now I'm gonna try it on for you guys without the lipstick underneath. So I noticed with this one, it's a little bit more patchy than the others, but it's really not that big of a difference because it is like glittery kind of, so you can't really tell. But I can tell just because I'm looking at it in the mirror and it just is a little bit like patchy. This is a really out there type of color, which not everybody would really wanna wear. It's very frosty. And to be honest, I don't know if I would wear this um, without the lipstick underneath, just because it's a little out there. But I do think it is really unique and it's still really pretty. So I can't really say anything bad about it. But this one isn't my favorite. The others are a lot nicer in my opinion. It's not something that I feel like you could wear every day. I don't think any of these are for most people, but I think it's really cool looking and I kind of like it over the lipstick better than without it. 
My final review on the Diamond Crushers is that. These are super, super unique. I really haven't come across anything like this when it comes to like lip toppers or liquid lipsticks or anything like this. I mean, I know this is a lip topper and there are other lip toppers on the market, but this is very different than other lip toppers I've tried. So I've tried lip toppers that are very like similar to a gloss that are really kind of like transferable and you could kind of feel them sticking on your lips. These you don't feel at all. They're like not even there. Like I really can't even feel them. Throughout this whole entire swatch video, I was keeping like a mental note of if I could really feel if they were uncomfortable or if the formula was inconsistent. And every single one had a very similar formula aside from the last one I tried, which in my opinion was a little bit patchy. I do think that the colors are very different if you look at their undertones. They're all very different from each other, so it depends on what you're going for. I think this is very trendy, it's very unique, it's very futuristic. It's different, so if you like things like that, you would really, really enjoy these. It's like a glitter stain. The packaging is amazing. I mean, this packaging is absolutely beautiful. Kind of like a heavy feeling to it. It's, it feels good, it's nice. So I recommend them to you guys. I'm gonna share my favorite shades really quickly. So I like Trip, I love Strip, and I love Lit. I feel like they all run. And when I'm purchasing lipstick, I look for things that are very unique and different than what I own. So I would go for these. Another thing I wanted to mention is you could just buy this by itself and wear it with lipstick that you already own. Like if you have a liquid lipstick, you can just put this over the top of it, or you could wear it by itself and you could use this all around your face. You don't have to just use it on your lips. So I'm actually gonna try that. I'm gonna try using this like on my eyes and on my cheeks. Hmm. I think I'm gonna try this on my cheeks really quickly. I just feel like I have to. There's no other choice. Okay, we're just gonna go for it, guys. Okay, I'm taking dope. I'm gonna put this on my cheeks. I'm really scared. Okay, hush. The pressure is, the pressure is on. Oh my gosh, this is really cool. Oh my God, that's so cool. It's like a glitter highlight. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of choke and I'm gonna apply that too. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, so this gives you like a wet look. If I didn't love it before, I really love it now because you can use this all over your face. How awesome is that? And now I wanna put this in my brows too and see how that looks. Now I'm putting choke in my brows. I'm in love with it. I think that this is like a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Please be sure before you guys go, let me know what you thought of the Diamond Crushers. If you thought they were really cool, please let me know down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And thank you guys so much for watching today. I will see you all in my next tutorial.